In this video, I'm going to review one of the newer drawing functions that Hilti just came out with. And just so you know, I'm on Hilti version 4.0. That is the software version that I'm using. So if you don't have this version or higher, uh, this feature might not be available to you. So that's what I'm using. This line offset feature is very easy to use. Uh, conceptually, you would use this if you get to the site and you realize, for instance, that grid lines that you have on the plan have been offset in the field at a certain distance. And I'm going to show you how to make general offsets using this. So if I'm on this line offset button, you can click on, let's start with lines. Here's a grid line. Let's say that this grid line is offset in the field by a certain distance. You can actually draw that in the tablet very easily by clicking on the line, and it brings up this red offset line that you can come over here on the right and change. So let's say I want to change this to a one foot offset. I'll go ahead and type in a one foot offset, and I'll say enter, and you can see it now makes a one foot offset. Now what's really convenient is that you can tap it on either side. So I have it on one side, I click again, it goes to the other side. And then if I click it a third time, it just deselects it. So type in whatever offset you want, click on the line you want to offset, and you're done. You can use this on arcs as well. So here I have an arc. If I click on that arc, again, I'm getting a one, one foot offset. I can even go to 10 feet if I wanted to, make a 10 foot offset. And you can see that it's making that offset line way over there. So it goes pretty high. Now, it also goes on circles as well. And that's what I wanted to spend a little bit of time on. Let me change this back to a one. I drew in this, this circle here to, to explain. And this circle, the radius of this circle is, I believe, a little bit more than two feet. Let me open this up. So there's that radius line. OK, so it's a two foot five and five sixteenths radius circle. The reason I'm showing you this is let me show you if I make a offset. This is only for circles, not for arcs. So if I have a circle and I click on this circle, obviously when I click on it, it'll make an offset. However, if you have the offset set to larger than what that circle radius is, it will not work. And I'll show you why. If I set this to two foot, five inches, and let's say three sixteenths, just a little bit smaller than what it actually is, I'll click on that circle. And you can see it makes a teensy weensy offset circle right there in the center. Right, the uh, there it is right there in the center. There's your offset circle. If I zoom out and I click on that circle again, you'll see that it makes a offset on the outside of that circle. So I have a two foot five offset on the outside. I click again, it cancels it. I click again, and it makes it in the middle right there. So you cannot go larger for circles than the actual radius because when it goes to the inside of the circle, well, eventually that circle is going to get too small to even make a circle on the inside. Um, so just keep that in mind. If for whatever reason you do have a circle that you do need to make, for instance, a, let's say I need to make this a 10 foot offset, what you're going to have to do is uh, go to the draw function and make yourself actual arcs on that circle and just offset those arcs. I don't know if I need to go into that. Leave a question in the comments if you do need me to explain that to you. Um, I don't think you're ever going to come across that, but just just so you're aware that if you come up with that error when you're trying to offset a circle, you might be trying to offset it at a distance that's greater than its actual radius. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you can offset lines, arcs, and circles. And please leave any questions in the comments.